Hello and welcome to my channel. What we have here is a tater skin brown burlap micarta series. And this is the model number RR2376. Now, for more great products, visit Rough Rider Knives. That's the package, and this knife happens to be the WKL membership knife for the month of September. Now, what that means is, um, depending on the number of members that I have in the membership thing, I get a knife based upon it. Now, this one, I'm going to have to check and see how much it is. So, I just checked and it's $16.99. Right, so, I've got around 15 members. So, thank you, members, um, because you're making this knife possible. Uh, now, we'll talk about the uh, how we're going to do the giveaway at the uh, end of the video. But, let's look at this knife. Pretty good. Pretty good little burlap going on there. I like the shield. I like the RR. Um, if they could have eliminated, you know, the RT, that, that would have helped. But, you know, eh, we'll deal with that. U unique design here. I like the the black uh, liners that they did on this one. Look at this, man. No, no huge gapping that I can tell. Nice and smooth through here. Now, this one is significantly more bowed than uh, than a normal canoe would be. All right. So, we got a pin blade. We got swedges. Both of these are 440A. And let's go ahead. We got a nice straight match strike nail neck here. Pretty strong right there. Right here, it's kind of weak. Um, like about a three. It starts getting ro stronger right here. That's really pulling at my fingernail. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah. From this arc up through here, you're fighting it. Which is good. I like a stronger um, pull. All right, let's see how this goes. Wow. Patow. Snap. It's in there solidly. Nice match up there. Let's push on it. Fairly strong. Fairly strong uh, back spring on it. Nice little stubby blade here. It says it's two and a half inches. But we'll, we'll just verify. Uh oh. Somebody tried to escape a little brass knife. He, he ran away. He said he was pushed. Guess what they all say. Alright, so then we were talking about two and a half inches. They were talking about the overall blade length. It looks like your cutting edge is two and three eighths. Well, we got this guy open. About three. Three and five eighths. Three and a Three and three quarters. Gives it a nice um, downward angle. Like if your knuckles are sitting here. Would you focus down there and not at my hand? If your knuckles are right here on a flat surface, it lets you get that rounded tip up there on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. See how it gives it that downward angle? Fits in the hand really well. Feels good. Man, somebody's going to like this knife. <laughs> well, I do already. Good half stop to it. Uh, let's check. For the dreaded pin wrap. I don't know what we're going to do if we get it. Oh. Nope. I don't see any, which is good. That's good. <clears throat> so you can do your full walk and talk. All right, let's check this guy. Oh, man. Yeah. Right through here, it's it's not too bad. And then right here, it starts really pulling at you. Oh, wow! Pow! I got too much of an angle. I went up like that. I need to go more like this. 
Ah, oh, man. Yes, that pin plate. All right. Let's look at the damage here. So you can see, it pulled back up. This is where you would use one of those. I'm going to try to do it uh, with the other fingernail. Yeah, they don't like that. There we go. All right, I fought it. I fought it. I fought the half stop end. <laughs> I won. Oh, man. <clears throat> I had to pull it. I had to do it off camera just to be safe because I, I was pulling it like this. And I didn't want to hit the camera, but yeah. Oh, it's got a little RR on this secondary blade. That's not bad. Yeah, if you want that secondary blade. Now, a lot of this will probably wear in a little bit. I'd rather have something, you know, a little bit tight going in there but yeah that's that's a, it gets to nail breaker point right there at one point uh one and three quarters cutting edge and about about two inches on the secondary all right let's close him the safe way uh. well, pow nice walk and talk all right can we try this again without killing ourselves yeah, right here, man. This is where you can't do it off camera and going out that way. If you pull it towards, let's say if you use your off hand. And you pivot down and let, let it rock. Let the, the blade rock up like it. It's much easier. It didn't do any. I just recently trimmed my nails. Hand model may be required. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, so let's discuss how this is going to happen. All right, so I was thinking about on the on the giveaway. So far, we've been lucky. Got everybody that, you know, it's people we know. It's people that do comments and everything. And uh, that's, the way I, that's the way I'd like to keep it. So what we're going to do is to be eligible to win you'll have to have let a left a comment in a previous video or so it doesn't matter whether or not i've responded to it because i i try to respond to all of them but usually uh if i responded to it is even better but if if not you know that's how i'm going to basically filter it is I, w I want the knife to go to someone who has been engaged with my channel like within the comments or engage in the community, like you've seen them in other places where they've commented and stuff. If they just happen to just drop in, you know, and uh, you don't have, it's, it's not like, well, I'm only going to give it to well-established people, you know, like Sue Chicken or something like that. Only Sue Chicken is eligible. No, it's not going to be that easy, Sue, but um, <clears throat> you know what I mean. Of course, it's going to be have to be what they call like the lower 48 states uh, eligible. And uh, people overseas, you know, you can participate by nominating somebody that's known, you know, throughout the community. Again, I, I'll use Sue as an example here. He's getting all these bonus uh, votes and everything. So let's say that Jerome, you know, who is not in the United States, uh, nominate sue all right when we go through all these picks and everything if jerome said the magic word which we haven't discussed yet although a lot of you have probably figured it out um and it happens to pick him and his his pick says sue and sue happens to be in a lower 48 and it's good then sue wins this knife you know and it'd be for anyone else you know the same way now that's that's my only limitations on it, you know. If you're new and you and you say, well, you know, I'm new and I haven't had a chance to, you know, leave a comment. All right. Next time, you know, next month, uh, leave a comment, not just in this video, but in in other videos and everything. I'll try to get to them. I'm not trying to, you know, like generate a bunch more comments or anything. And uh like I said, you don't have to be this subscribed. It would probably help, you know, the stupid uh, algorithms and stuff like that. But you don't have to be subscribed. But you do have to show some interaction with my channel. 
and and it and in that way it kind of identifies you as a person that likes knives not just to sell them like i said once you get once you get the knife it's yours to do with you know as you want you know wish i would hope that you would you know use it and like it or whatever um or collect it whatever you want to do with it you know um the biggest thing i don't want to have happen is somebody that just joins for giveaways like you see on live streams when somebody's about to do let's say big red when he's getting ready to do his uh live stream at the end he a lot of times he does a, a knife giveaway and you can see the numbers jump up a, a lot so okay let's say that some people were saying they're not in the live stream the whole time and then they call their buddy and say hey you know big red's about to do the giveaway join in or it could be a bunch of people log into alternate accounts you know they start logging in a bunch of accounts and the viewer you know count goes up and everything so what that is is there's just some people that are just trying to scam the situation you know it's they have a one boat they want three votes and that's you know that's kind of that kind of behavior shouldn't be rewarded you know so <clears throat> with somebody else voting for you that's different that's a different set of rules and everything there it's it's where i'm saying you know it's all right it's cool you know because this way it gives people overseas or you know that can't you know that are not eligible they get something out of it you know when the drawing comes up it's like oh wow i'm not even going to watch a drawing because there's no use you know i can't win anything it's no good I, you know i'm not going to watch that <clears throat> somebody else is going to win it this way you can still watch it and see if you would have won if you would have been living in the united states but since you didn't your generosity is going to whoever you designated say like uh, tobias for example we'll have to use somebody else's that would be you know eligible and it just goes like that that's that's the way it does it you name whoever it is and if that person has you know made previous comments and is you know like basically like um it's easy to find out if they've made comments before um then uh then it's good so i'm glad we got all that straightened out it took forever uh, but anyways, here, yeah, here's a normal sow belly. See how that sow bellies? And then this is a, a, a bow. So, a bow canoe. Wait a minute, let me get a regular canoe. So there's a regular canoe. There's that yellow one I just recently looked at. All right. It's not kind of as obvious, but you can see it's mostly... It, just right there and like the center this one he gets more pronounced see how it curves a lot more and then his is a sow belly stockman so his curve is like towards the end almost like a dog leg you know because it's flat there and then he gets rounded here this one the arc is round the whole way and this one just on the end so that's how much of a curvature you've got in it it's not super pronounced let me open up the blade we're just going with the large blade here we're not going to fight that pin blade wow you can see that how that handle Wants to curve down a lot more. All right, I'll right, open up Mr. Stockman. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can see it's got a pronounced. It's got a more pronounced downward portion to it, which shouldn't matter it, with uh, it being a spear point. If it had been a clip point, you'd still have that belly going for you to help it, because it kind of emphasizes this area right here when you cut. Anyways, let's put the camera back in here. There you go. So, yeah. Um... 
I like the way it feels in hand. It, it, it curls. It curls pretty well. This one still feels more like a regular stockman. You just get the curling right at the very end there. This one curls throughout the whole hand like a banana. And this one, there's just a little, you barely notice. It just swells right in the center, so you still feel, I'm not saying it's a hot spot. You just feel the end of the knife there more than when you're holding like this. Let me close it up. Yeah, this guy's more of a straight, straight effect. This guy, you feel just the more ergonomic a little there, but you feel it straight through there. I don't know what all that has to do with anything, but uh, yeah, it's different. It, it's something different, and uh, it's done well. You see how well that looks without the the big R and everything. With the shield, I would say you don't need all that, but it's not mashed or anything. Yeah, this is a good one. So, like I said. Insert your own name. One limit one entry per household, please, or per account, or not a per account because people can generate multiple accounts. But limit one per household, and uh, good luck to everyone, and uh, good luck to everyone who's nominated. If that turns out to be that way, and we'll give it a week. Today's Wednesday. Um, we'll give it a week, and then eventually someone will win the tater skin. I think I'm going to order one of these for myself, too. Because uh, it's not bad. It's like $17 here in the USA for that. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, not a bad, it's not a bad little canoe. This one was only $13, I think. So you go, you're getting canvas micarta. You're getting 440A, I think it is, steel. But it's nicely done. It's nicely done. Look at that. It's centered fairly well. I haven't cleaned it up or done anything to it. But, yeah, I think it's it's a pretty good knife. So, there you go. Good luck for everyone that wants to, uh, wants to enter. And uh, that's your September... YKM membership giveaway. So again, once again, thank you all uh, my of my members who uh, each month you know make this possible. Basically, you know they they're the ones that you know have sponsored this particular knife for anyone within the parameters I have previously discussed to win. So, oh, you're waiting for the magic word. Well, couldn't you have guessed? The magic word is Danny Dino. That's right, Danny Dino. D-A-N-N-Y. D-Y-N-O. Danny Dino. If you mention that in there, then the random comment picker will pick it up. And we'll see what you said in your comment. And if you're nominating somebody else, it'll show up in there. And uh, if you're just a random person who hasn't read the rules and is brand new, then we're going to say, sorry, and we'll pick another winner. <laughs> we'll pick somebody else because you didn't follow the rules. <clears throat> we can't reward bad behavior. We just can't. Look what happens. Yellow knife matters. Look at that. We have a Jeep accident overnight. I don't know what happened to him? Probably they were playing around joyriding. Dinosaurs joyriding. So good luck, everyone. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. It'll be um, going till next Wednesday. Just leave a comment. Say the magic word in there. 
and we'll do the drawing and we'll see who wins. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.